I'm joined by UCO head football coach Nick Bobeck in his fifth season at the helm. Today marks the first day high school players could sign a national letter of intent. Coach, could you first talk a little bit about the thought process going into this recruiting class? Uh, just, just like every year, you know, we have needs. There's, there's things that we need at every position, um, you know. But you know, the first thing that you have to do is you have to find kids that fit, uh, fit the, kids that fit your philosophy, fit your culture. You know, that are going to help make your locker room uh, better. Uh, guys that fit within the locker room, obviously, is very, very important. But I think the biggest thing that you got to look at, as far as when you're, when you're, when you're looking at needs and, and so forth, is, is uh, you know, does a does a kid fit within, you know, fit within the scheme, you know, and that's that's I think a big deal with with what we do. Um, you know, we want we always want big, long kids uh, that we can develop over the course of time and, and and so forth over the course of their their careers here. And uh, you know, it's it's you know. Some of the depth that we've uh, that we've built over the over the last four years, we've been able to um, you know build some great depth in our football team. So we got to kind of go pick and choose a little bit more, uh, not necessarily based on needs, but uh, you know, but based on wants. So uh, obviously we filled needs, but you know we also got to add some kids that, that normally we wouldn't have signed. Are there any certain characteristics you look for in any potential student athletes? You know, you know, in our league, you got to be you got to be big. You know, and, and we, we believe that, that playing physical football is going to lead to uh, lead to more wins uh, within our league, and I think that that's something that, that you can see, you know, based upon the people that play at the top of our league is, uh, you know, they're big physical football teams, and for us to, to continue to get better and to continue to climb the ladder within within the MIAA, we've got to we've got to recruit big kids. I think we signed two kids, you know, counting junior college uh, and high school that are under six foot tall. So um, we've got some big long kids and, and kids that fit with what we're doing schematically. As you mentioned before, it really wasn't that much of a need-based recruiting effort, um, but were you able to look at really the best players, regardless of position, a little more this year? Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's not, not the case in every position, but you know, we, we oversigned at a couple of positions and, and uh, you know, we let the kids know that we were doing that. And, uh, you know, but it's based upon, you know, when you have a couple of exceptional kids, uh, you know, out there, you know, which we had, we had several this year, and we went ahead and went ahead and signed them. So I think they're guys that can come in and compete right away and put themselves in a position to, uh, you know, to obviously make us better as a football team, but but also uh, put them in a positive situation as well. Well, coach, once again, thank you so much for your time today, and it looks like we have a lot to look forward to in 2016. Yeah, I think it'll be fun.